Hey everybody, what's going on? So, <clears throat> sorry for the quality of video today. Uh, normally I record on my iPhone for my videos, but uh, I didn't feel like breaking that out and I kind of need it for a visual aid in this video. So, today I'm using my laptop's built-in web camera and it's not the greatest. But anyway, it's not a video about video quality on a laptop. Um, today, I want to talk real quick about the new Ghostbusters movie that's coming out this year. Um, I'm sure you've all heard of it, one being directed by Paul Feig, Feig, Feig whatever that dude's name is, um, and his all-female star cast. Now, a lot of people have been shitting on this movie, myself included for a while, but my reasons for disagreeing with the movie and not being happy with it are very different than everyone else's. Everyone else's arguments are kind of douchey. Because they keep coming back to the fact that all oh, Ghostbusters aren't girls. This is an all-female cast. Bring back the original dudes. Um, and a couple other things. That's the one I keep hearing a lot about. Um, the other one, and I'll get to that one in a minute. Um, <clears throat> it's talking about how he wanted the movie to be separate from the original movie. But now, af now after hearing everyone freaking out... There's a whole bunch of references to the old movie in there, but we'll we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Um, I just want to talk about my thoughts and my feelings on the film. Like I said before, I was not particularly happy when I found out some of the de initial details about the movie. And for me, none of it had anything to do with the cast. I have absolutely no beef with an all-female um, Ghostbusters team, because if you're a real Ghostbusters fan... You're going to remember this moment from the comics. You see that? See that? I, it's kind of bad because the it's on my phone. I have this comic. I have this comic. I just couldn't find it in my stack of comic boxes. But anyway, this, this is the new Ghostbusters team from the IDW comics. That's um, Janine in the middle, FBI Special Agent Alexis Ortiz, I think. And then her face is really whited out, but her face is naturally just kind of paler than everyone else's. That's Kylie from Extreme Ghostbusters. And this this dude, his name is something Alexander. I don't care much for him. He's, he's a dude bro character. He's kind of obnoxious. But it's a predominantly female Ghostbusters team. And when that happened in the comic, nobody lost their shit. Um, they formed when the boys in gray were trapped in a parallel universe by Gozer's sibling. I can't remember his her name. She was a reptile thing, looking creature, demon. Um, but she trapped the, the, the real Ghostbusters in a parallel universe, and in their absence, they stepped up to protect New York from the ghosts. And it's not an all-girl team, but it's predominant. Three of the four members were female. No one flipped out. So... I have no problem. I, I, I don't care. Um, I know I'm kind of blanking on her. Melissa McCarthy, I like her as an actress. She's a very good actress. Um, I actually would like to see what she has to bring to the Ghostbusters franchise. Um, as for the other ones, the other three, I don't know if I've seen them in anything. But, um, again, I'm curious to see what these actresses have to bring um, with their characters to the roles. Now... Now I'm going to talk about, so now we have that out of the way. I, I don't care that they're female. I don't care in the least. You know, you don't have to be a guy to be a Ghostbuster. You know, all across the country we have independent Ghostbuster franchises staffed by fans of the movies. And they range. You know, men and women are doing it. So I don't care. You don't, you don't have to be a dude um, to be a Ghostbuster. I am sad that the movie's not going to incorporate Ray Stance, Egon Spengler, Winston Zedmore, or Peter Venkman at all. I'm sad about that because I grew up with Ghostbusters. I love the characters. Um, but uh, it's not enough to make me hate on the movie. But there are a couple things I'm concerned about. There are a couple things that make me look at this movie with a weary eye. And we're going to talk about those right now. Um, thing one that kind of turned me off from the movie is that they said it's going to be completely independent from any previous Ghostbusters continuity. That bothered me a little bit because... All previous incarnations of the Ghostbusters. It's been fairly consistent. I don't know if the screen blacked out. My screensaver kicked on. Um, continuity's been fairly consistent. 
since uh, 1984. Um, because you had the two movies, and then after the movies, well, while the well, after the first one came out, before the sec the second one came out, first and second, um, you had the real Ghostbusters cartoon show, and then after that, you had comic books, um, to varying degrees. I think it was mostly the comics I remember from the 80s and 90s were about the real Ghostbusters cartoon show, but we've also had comics dealing with, um, continuing the story from the films. Now... That's been fairly consistent. There's only, only really been two Ghostbuster continuities, and even then, they've tied in together. Because the movie, at least the first film, the original movie, exists within the real Ghostbusters cartoon show. So, you have the film continuity, and that includes the 2009 video game, and I believe the IDW comic line. So you have that continuity... Then you have the real Ghostbusters cartoon show continuity. And that's, you know, the real Ghostbusters, their comic books, I believe. Um, and then the mid to late 90s Extreme Ghostbusters cartoon show. So everything always tied in together. It's always been consistent. When they said that they were going to throw that away, I'll admit, I'm a sucker for continuity and consistency. And I don't like the fact that they're going to be starting from scratch. That they're taking, every, you know, they're taking... The, the real Ghostbusters and kind of just shoving it off to the side. Um, if they said that this is going to be its own standalone movie, and but it was still going to take place like after everything that happened in the films, I'd be fine with that. That's kind of like what they did with Jurassic World. Jurassic World was a reboot and a sequel at the same time. If you haven't seen that video and my 20-minute rant review on it, there'll be a link down in the description. Um, basically, that's what they did with Jurassic World. It was a reboot, yes, but it took place within the continuity of the films, and it built on what the first movie had done. Now, I will not have a problem with this, and I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about what would make me happy, and this is what, what I came up with, um, because they said they're going to have, they've got um, Dan Aykroyd, Bill Murray, and... Um, Ernie Hudson, I had a major brain fart there, shame on me, um, in the movie. Unfortunately, they can't have Harold Ramis because he passed away last year. Sad. Um, I think they said Bill Murray is going to be playing a different character. We don't know what Ernie Hudson or Dan Aykroyd are going to be doing. I think I heard Dan Aykroyd is going to be a cab driver. But what I thought would be clever, and this ties into another problem I have with the movie. Actually, I'll talk about this first before I talk. I continue with my previous thought. Um, no, I'll finish this thought first. It'll lead into the other one. Um, is that... What if this Ghostbusters team is separate from the original Ghostbusters, but that's because they knew of... Like, the original Ghostbusters, the real Ghostbusters, still existed in this new reboot movie, but they've long, the company has long since gone out of business. And so this new female team, when the ghosts start showing up in New York again, they form a new separate Ghostbusters team. It had no input from the original Ghostbusters company because it you know, could long be defunct or whatever. I'd be fine with that. You know, that that'd be okay because then um, it would be kind of like today how fans of the movies pay homage to Ghostbusters by starting up their own Ghostbuster teams in different cities and states across the country and that would also allow me to forgive um bad feeling number two and that is the new ecto mobile i cannot stand the new ecto one I, I don't care that it's an 84 cadillac hearse and the car is boxy and ugly looking whatever i i don't care it's the execution into the ecto mobile that i don't like it is god awful it looks like somebody who has a very loose idea of what the Ecto-1 looks like. Um, no, doesn't care, and just kind of wants to get it done as fast as possible, built this thing. Um, the No Ghost emblem on the side looks like it was just painted on. There's this obnoxious, gigantic yellow single light on the front of the car. It just looks ugly. And then there's all this random equipment just shoved on top of the car. Now, I'm sure a lot of people, when they saw the original Ecto-1 in 1984, they're like, oh, that's just a bunch of random crap on the roof. 
But Dan Aykroyd, when he designed the car, everything on the roof of Ecto does something. If you've seen the restoration of Ecto-1, which I believe is available on YouTube, again, I'll post a link to that in the description if you want to see it. Um, he stood there and he told the, the people who refurbished the car all the stuff on the roof, what it did. He knows that car inside and out. Everything on there is there for a purpose. This new Ecto, it's just like, what is all that garbage? It looks like somebody just went to the scrapyard, got a bunch of metal, and just threw it on top of the car. Um, the paint job's not that great. Everything about it just looks kind of cheap and quickly thrown together. The only thing that kind of looks cool is I like the little ghost hood ornament on the, the hood of the car. That's pretty much the only thing that would set apart from an actual cheapy half-assed attempt and an actual movie car because they have a custom hood ornament. Now, what would make me not feel bad about this? Again, jumping back to the previous thought of what if this is a new team completely separate from the original Ghostbusters team but in the same continuity, you know, they would build their own Ectomobile as an homage to the real Ecto-1. I'd be okay with that. You know, that wouldn't bother me too much. Um, so, there's that. And then the third thing, because there's three things that put me off about the, move, the new movie. The third thing is actually the type of humor they would use in the film. Now, I'm familiar with Melissa McCarthy's work. Um, I've seen one Paul Feig movie, Feig, Fig, whatever, one Paul movie that I know specifically he did. Um, I've enjoyed everything that they've done that I, I know of, um, that I've seen, that I know I've seen. Um, the thing that worries me would be the type of humor they use. Because I know Melissa was in that movie Spy, and Spy was a Paul movie. Now, while the film was great and hilarious, and I laughed really hard, um, the humor was at times a little on the raunchy side. Yeah, and Melissa's got kind of a foul mouth. Like a really, really foul mouth. That's not the kind of humor that I would expect to find in Ghostbusters. Because when the original movie came out, you know, there were some grown-up jokes in there. You know, there's there's a couple jokes that I've only now, after, you know, pushing 30, that I've started picking up on. It's kind of like, oh, oh, God. I don't know how I feel about this joke being in this movie. Because Ghostbusters, even though it started out as just a general comedy movie, it resonated with the audience so well that it also, it turned into kind of like a family franchise. You know, kids love it. Um, I sit with my parents to this day with my younger siblings and watch the Ghostbuster movies. Um, you know, you've got the, the cartoons, the comic books, the video games. It's a, fan a franchise for the family. And I just worry that the type of humor I've seen utilized in previous movies with Melissa and, you know, done by Paul... I just worry that they're going to resort to raunchy humor in this film. And I've seen it recently in another reboot sequel type movie that, you know, the original you could sit and watch with the family and it's okay, uh, but the sequel just got so raunchy. It's the new Vacation. The new Vacation movie, we tried watching that, and it's just like, what the hell are we looking at here? You know, there's some really gross jokes in there that are really only kind of like you laugh at because it's shock value and you kind of don't know what else to do. Like, you don't want to just stare at the screen. You have to do something so you just wind up laughing nervously. I, I don't want that kind of humor in Ghostbusters. I, I'm sorry, I just don't. Um, you know, I've been a fan of Ghostbusters ever since I was a little, little child. It's something very important to me. It reminds me of my childhood, simpler times. It reminds me of a time in my life when I was, you know, a little kid, pure and innocent. Ghostbusters is innocence to me. It's, you know, you, you see them and you're just like, oh, that's the Ghostbusters. I love the Ghostbusters. Like I said, I know there's some grown-up jokes in the movie, and as an adult, I kind of get it now, and sometimes I'm like, ha-ha, hee-hee. Other times I'm just kind of like, ugh, forgot that was there. Um, but, yeah, I just, I, I don't want Ghostbusters to be raunchy. Because if, I, I'll go to the show and watch it. I'm going to go at least once and see it. And if it's raunchy, I'm, I'm just going to get up and leave. 
because that's not the kind of thing I want to see or affiliate with Ghostbusters. I just don't. So, all right, those are my thoughts on the movie. Why, you know, why I'm nervous and a couple things as to, you know, I, I'd be excited to see. I would be excited to see, you know, like I said, if this was going to be a new team of Ghostbusters, so they're going to do it independently, but the real Ghostbusters still existed, and this is an, like an homage team. Um, that would be cool. I actually think the story sounds kind of neat. It's a story they did in the comics before IDW had their regular run with uh, Dan Dan Schroeder-ring? I can't remember. The, the, the really cool Ghostbuster artist started out just doing fan art, and they actually hired him to do the comics. Um, so yeah, the IDW comics. There was a storyline where the Ghostbusters got taken out by the spirits of dead mafia men. And the Ghostbusters were stuck in purgatory. Peter Venkman got possessed. So you had ectoplasmic mob mobsters running around Manhattan. This movie sounds like it's going to be based kind of on that because they're, the female lady Ghostbusters are going to be going after ghosts of old criminals. So the story actually sounds kind of neat. It sounds intriguing. I would like to see how that plays out. So, I don't know. I guess as long as they keep the movie out of raunchy territory and, you know, that's all I'd really hope for. I'd be happy if they did the other stuff that I just talked about. But if they don't, if this winds up being like a complete reboot standalone, it has absolutely nothing to do with the real Ghostbusters. As long as it's not raunchy and the movie's well done, I'll be happy. I'll be a happy fan. So... All right, that's my thoughts on the film. I've been wanting to get that out there for a long time because I've seen a lot of people just hating on the movie for, honestly, stupid reasons. Really dumb reasons. I haven't heard any really valid reasons why people don't want this movie to come out. So I just wanted to share my thoughts on the movie. Um, tell me what you guys think. Are, are there any Ghostbuster fans in the audience? Are you excited for the reboot? Are you not happy at all that they're doing it. Are you in the same boat as me? Just kind of in the middle, you know? As long as they do this, this, and this, and not this stuff, you'll be fine. Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Um, also, if you're not subscribed to the channel already, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, because there's more rants coming, maybe, if I hear or see things that I get mad about and I, I you know, the nerd feelings start flaring up. <clears throat> um, otherwise, if you like seeing toy reviews, I got more toy reviews coming. Um, I've got some DIY projects I like to try and do. There's, there's all kinds of stuff that's coming in the channel. So if you want to see that stuff, hit subscribe. Stay up to date. Um, I'm also available on Facebook. I'll throw that Facebook link down in the description below. There'll be all kinds of links for everything in the description. So, all right, guys. I'm heading out of here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time.